This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a table with headers on a web page using HTML5. I'll be using VS Code on a PC. Let me jump over to my web page here. This right here is what I'll be creating, just a basic table with headers. I got my table headers up here and then my table cells within here. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to new, over to folder. I'm just going to name this folder test. And then I'm going to double click on my folder to go inside it. And inside my folder, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to right click, go down to new, folder, and I'm just going to name it CSS. Hit enter. Now I'm going to go to VS Code. I'm going to open up VS Code. And in VS Code, I am going to locate that folder. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder, and I name that folder Test, so I'm going to find it on my computer here. There it is. I'm going to click on it to select it. I'm going to click Select Folder. So now I am inside of that folder. Now I'm going to hover my mouse over the Explorer over here and I'm going to choose New File. I'm going to click on New File and I'm going to name it index.html. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm going to click on the drop down next to my CSS folder right in here. I'm going to click on that drop down because I want to go inside of that folder and I'm going to click on new file and I'm going to name this file style.css I'm going to hit enter now I'm going to click on the index.html tab up here because I want to work on that file I'm going to click on that and I'm going to create my HTML boilerplate here I'm going to make an exclamation point and then I'm going to you can either click on this top wrench here or you could hit the tab key either way there is my HTML boilerplate right there. I need to connect my CSS file to my HTML file. I'm going to go right above the title tag here. I'm going to put my cursor at the end here. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type link. Then I'm going to type uh, I'm going to click on the wrench that says link colon CSS. That is the name of my CSS file right there, style.css, but I have it in a folder. So I'm going to place my cursor at the beginning of that S on style. And I'm the, the name of my folder is CSS. And I'm going to do a forward slash. And now to double check to make sure I have it linked properly, I'm going to put my cursor over the style.css. And I'm going to click on that follow link. And it takes me over to my CSS file, so it is connected properly. I'm going to go back to the index.html file. And just to give myself a little more room, I'm going to close the Explorer tab by uh, clicking on this top uh, icon up here. That just gives me a little more room. I'm going to go up to File. And I'm going to Save All, because I want to save both files. Save All. Now I'm going to place my cursor at the end of my opening body tag. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm just going to create an H2 here. And in between my opening and closing H2 tags, I'm just going to type HTML table with headers. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing H2 tag and I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to create my table here. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing table tags here and I am going to create a table row. I'm going to hit enter to separate my table row opening and closing tags and then I'm going to create a table header. 
I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy that one. I'm going to put my cursor at the end. I'm going to hit Enter, Control V. I'm going to hit Enter, Control V. And I'm going to hit Enter, Control V. I want four table headers here. And then I'm going to put my cursor at the, at the end of the closing table row tag. I'm going to hit Enter twice. Then I'm going to create another table row. I'm going to hit Enter to separate my table row opening and closing tags. And I'm going to create four TD tags for my table cells. I'm going to copy and paste these. I'm going to highlight it, right click, copy, put my cursor at the end of that closing tag. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to press Control V to paste, Enter, Control V, Enter, Control V. Now I'm going to select that whole table row there, opening and closing table row tags. I'm going to copy it, copy. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing table row. Hit enter twice, press control V. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so I can see a little better. I'm going to hit enter twice again, control V. I'm going to hit enter twice again, control V. So now I have four rows of table data and one row of table headers. In the table header area, I'm going to type the very first uh, opening and closing tag between between the very first opening and closing table header tag. I'm going to type name. This is going to be my headers above my table data. The second one, I'm going to type state. The third one, I'm going to type country. You could type anything you'd like, but this is what I'm doing. In the last one, I'm going to put my cursor right between the opening and closing table header tags and I'm going to type contact. In the next row down, the first table data, opening and closing tags, I'm going to type in between the second opening and closing table data tags, I'm going to type the state. And in between the third opening and closing table data tags, I'm going to type USA. And the last one, I'm going to type the email address, the contact. Now down to the next table row. I'm going to put my cursor right between the opening and closing TD tags. And I'm going to type Jim Smith in the state, Utah. And the next one down, the country. And for the contact, jims at gmail.com. I'm going to scroll down a little bit until I get to the next two. The next table row, the name, I'm going to type Rick Dill. In the state, I'm going to type Florida. In the country, I'm going to type USA. And for the contact, rickd at aol.com and for this last table row I'm going to type a name Roger Johnson and the state New York and the country USA and for the last part I'm just going to type Just a fictitious email. Now I have all of my data filled out here.
And now I'm going to begin working on my CSS file. It's only a tiny bit of CSS that I need for this, but I'm going to click on the style.css tab. And I'm going to put my cursor on the very first line there, and I'm going to call my table, my table header, and my table cells. I'm going to type table, comma, space, th, comma, space, td. I'm going to make a space, and I'm going to do my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets, and then I'm going to type border, colon, space. I want it two pixels. I'm going to make a space. I want it solid. I'm going to make a space, and I want it black. Now I'm going to do my semicolon. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. I want there to be 10 pixels of padding. Padding, colon, space, 10, px, semicolon. Then I'm going to place my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket, and I'm going to hit enter twice. And now I'm just going to call on my table here. I'm going to space, curly brackets, enter, and I want this, the width of this table to be 50% of the page. Width colon 50% semicolon. Make sure you have a semicolon after each line here. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. I'm going to go back over to my web page here. I'm going to hit Refresh. And there is our table with headers and cells. That is how you create a basic table with headers using HTML, a little bit of CSS. Thanks for watching.